Now, on this Ben Dinner Day, we are joined by fashion designer Karen Monk Kleinstra. I promised I was going to say it very slowly just to make sure that I got it right. And we're all wearing our bandanas in support of this awesome, awesome cause. And she's here to show us how you can take a bandana from a normal bandana into an awesome fashion accessory. We've seen how you've dressed people in bandanas, which, which yeah. I thought was unbelievable. Okay. Uh, and now you've just gone to the next level and taken it to accessories. Tell us about how you came about this idea and why you decided to do this. You know, um, a lot of people are afraid to wear the bandana to cover their head mm. and, you know, like you're wearing it is really cool, it's a bit western. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Where's and Grant now? <laughs> <laughs> people obviously tie it around their arms and wrap it around their waist and those would be more the traditional ways of wearing a bandana but, you know, there was a massive surge in interest in fascinators um, about two years ago so I thought, well, in fascinators. Fascinators. What fascinators are, what are, are these quirky Alice bands and they sometimes reach astronomic proportions, think of the royal wedding. Oh, are those uh, what they call cool? They're like in the face. But anyway, but the idea was that I would take the bandana and cut it up and use it as a fascinator. So a, a cute way for a child to wear it. Also, somebody who is fairly playful and just wants to dress like up in outfit. Here. Like over here, you can see these ones have got a little bit of height. We've used a bit of tulle, feathers, and basically anybody could do this. So wow. we're hoping that we can roll this out and do an accessory line next year. But also, if you're creative, you could go and purchase your bandana. And tonight, go out in the town, you can make your own fascinator. Go for it. This is brilliant. I mean, I, I could actually imagine this featuring at Johannesburg Fashion Week or Cape Town Fashion Week or something like that. We should like do that. a bandana collection. You're a master. <laughs> <laughs> Royalties, please. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But it's, it's, it's really so the fantastic. <laughs> Of course it is, of course it is. And of course, like you said, next year you plan on rolling this out uh, to, to become more that's, available to the right. public. That's right, I think it'll make it more accessible and people will be inclined to wow. want to buy it to wear it again. That's um, brilliant. You know, Bandana Day is obviously the 12th of October and it's Chris Corlett's birthday, like yes. I said earlier. But really, these kids need our support the whole year round. Now this is so cute. Look at her with that. Oh my word, yeah. that is so cool. <laughs> and you've got a tie as well for the guys. Yeah, this in is what, what we thought. You know, Man. the tie um, is a nice way for next year businessmen, and I'm challenging businessmen, Liesl said earlier, next year to go and buy a bandana tie. Because they then don't have to wear it on their head or as a handkerchief, but they can actually wear it all day long. Exactly. And on various days of the year. And with the different coloured bandanas, you can actually have it with different suits totally. too. Totally. And there I've just tied the bandana in the traditional way a bandana is tied in his hair. Um, uh -huh. But we thought the Mickey ears, <laughs> many ears in this, <laughs> would be a fun way to do it. And yeah, she carries it off beautifully. So How about some bandana underwear for the guys? Like some, <gasps> some boxes. Boxes. You know? Briefs, pajamas. Yeah, you know, that's we can fantastic. Do that. Oh God. We should. We should. Do, oh my goodness. We should talk about this. We should actually discuss it. But uh, I mean, uh, all of this was in, inspired by the fact that you've been involved in the in the fund for six years now. How did it all get started? Um, you know, I was I was given a call and they asked me to dress Lauren Lang, who is um, a songstress, a well-known KZN songstress. Um, and so we dressed her, and then. It just bit me, it was kind of like a bug. I don't, don't actually know anybody suffering with leukemia, so this morning I got a bit tearful when I saw the little girl yeah. walk in. Um, but both my parents have battled cancer, so it is a cause that is close to my heart, but also as a mother, I'm a mother of four, and to think that parents go through that and their children are so defenseless and so terrified of the treatment, we have to show them solidarity and try and raise a very you know, much needed funds. To amazing. support them, yeah. yeah. But thank you for the fantastic work that you do. I think it's really, really amazing to use your thank talents you. like that for a worthy cause like this. Thank you. It's loads of fun. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, I think uh, right about now it's time for our Medical Minute with Dr. Michael Moore. And today we're talking about high blood pressure. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.